This is a 2020 Kia Sorento EX in everlasting silver on black. And this is Jeremiah here at Greenway Kia of the Shoals. Give me a quick walk around of the vehicle. Three things to know. Number one, we don't charge any additional dealer fees or dock fees. The average is $700 in the south and ours is zero. Uh, taxes matter where you purchase in Alabama. It's 2.5% here in Colbert County where we are located. 2.5625 to be exact. Uh, compared to most places, are at 4%. It's a big difference. And the last one is we have a three-day 100% money-back guarantee on your purchase. So you can't make a mistake unless you wait four days. So let's get a quick walk around of the vehicle started. So you do have your projector uh, fog lights down there at the bottom, right? And nice blacked out wheels on the EX. Now this could be whatever color you're wanting. This is just kind of a general demonstration of the EX because they can change colors, right? You do have your side repeating turn signals for added visibility. And it does have the lamps for the... When you walk up to the vehicle, as long as the key is on your person, which is on mine, and proximity entry there. And coming on to the back of the vehicle, this does have the smart lift gate. And you'll notice that they have those little round sensors there at the bottom. So it'll go beep, beep, beep as you get too close to objects. Now, as I approach the vehicle, I'm just standing. Hands don't have a key. And this is the smart lift gate. Three beeps, three blinks, and it'll pop open on its own for you. You don't have to wave your foot or anything. Uh, this does, in this case, come with carpeted floor mats. This is a third row, right? We do have a privacy shade, which is blocking my third row from coming up in this case, but it is there. By the way, there is a light in the back, so we can have some illumination. 12-volt power adapter. And love the fact that our handles here We'll control our seats up there, which that one's already dropped, so we'll do this one here. And as I pull, the seat will drop there for us. The third row does have their own cup holders, and they do have control of their own destiny, unless the front locks them out of uh, the temperature in the back. Underneath, we do have some storage, and then, of course, your tools for the spare located underneath the vehicle. Right there, you'll screw to drop it. This is memory height adjustable, so I can drop this down, hold the button until it beeps at me. It'll only go up to that height from then on, if you'd like. But we won't change that. Locks work great, so we'll use the proximity. Oh, it's rather dark in here, so let's go ahead and do this a little different. Let's go to the front because we can open up that moonroof. It does have a panoramic sunroof. By the way, the mirrors do break away for our mailboxes and trash cans of the world. Usual suspects are right here. Power windows, power locks, power side mirrors. We can lock out the kids and the dogs, you know, from rolling down their own windows. We have our adjustable power seats. This is six way, so it'll go forward, back, up, down, tilt, tilt. You're lean for your whole back and lumbar support. I'm going to go in and depress the brake to start the vehicle so we can add some illumination with the panoramic sunroof. There we are. So it's opening up. And add some lights. This just has some very good LED lights. So here on the left hand side we do have our blind spot detection. And the way that work in this case is, you notice in the side mirror, it will illuminate if somebody's in a blind spot, just like so. Now, if you didn't notice that and you turn on your left blinker in this case, that would flash repeatedly and emit an audible signal in the cabin to scare the diggings out of you so you don't crash into the person. This does have lane keeping assist on the vehicle. That's what that icon is for. And it will display right there. Uh, lane keeping assist, you can actually take your hands off the steering wheel. As long as there's lines on the road, it'll keep you between the lines of the road. Now, eventually the system will harass you and tell you to put your hands back on uh, the steering wheel. There are a lot of safety features. That's just a couple to start with. Uh, we do have the button for the rear lift gate there as well. And um, let's go on over here to um, some of our items like the most important feature. There we go. Sunglass holder. Got to have that. And in here we do have our um, removable tray and a USB port. Cubby hole for chapstick, nail clippers, cup holders, two 12 volt power adapters with USB and auxiliary. And then down here we have a number of features. We have our drive mode, which will change how, um, 
how quick the takeoff will be on uh, acceleration. It changes the shift points of the transmission for better fuel efficiency or more acceleration. We have our electronic parking brake. Um, auto hold feature is designed so let's put the vehicle, let's brake. Actually, notice I turn auto hold on. There it displays. I put the vehicle in drive. I'm braked, right? I take my foot off the accelerator. We're not going anywhere. Now, if I tap the accelerator, we're moving. Come to a complete stop. Auto hold is green. Tap the accelerator. Turns white. Come to a complete stop. Turns green. What's the purpose of that? You think of yourself on a steep grade hill. It gives you time to take your foot off the brake and uh, onto the accelerator so you don't just start rolling automatically. And then um, this is to turn off those rear parking sensors if you wanted to. Moving on up from there, we do have our um, heated seats in our dual automatic climate control on the vehicle and then Android Auto and Apple CarPlay will work on here along with what we have which is going to be AM and FM radio on the vehicle. We'll turn that off and of course it does have the backup camera. Now the backup camera does have the guiding lines as well to go with. On over to the steering wheel, this vehicle does come with the smart cruise control, so that will keep you at a steady pace uh, with the person in front of you. This is with a start and stop capability, so if they stop, this vehicle will stop itself. When they start, it will start, as long as you've been sitting for less than three seconds on that stop. On over to the left-hand side, we do have our voice command, which will work with your Siri or Android phone, AM, FM, changer. Uh, of course, it does have Bluetooth too, so same thing there volume, channel, answer, hang up, right? Usual things. And over here we do have our lights and as I adjust my lights, we'll see on the center screen it also adjusts. And the same thing is true for the windshield wipers, especially those intermittent wipers, fast and slow. So we've got all that there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the back seat of the vehicle. There are a number of extra safety features since I was on the Smart Cruise, this does have the forward collision alert so if there's a with pedestrian detection so if you're approaching really fast to somebody in front of you it will alert on here and if you don't stop or react it will attempt to mitigate that impact with the person or vehicle that's either walking out in front pulling out in front or has stopped immediately in front of you so this vehicle has a lot of safety features to keep things from crashing one other thing we saw the blind spot detection right which is that icon right there, which illuminates there. Then also comes with rear cross traffic alert because you have low frequency radar in both corners of the vehicle. So if you can imagine, your backup camera sees pretty wide angle, but it doesn't see everything. Think Walmart, you're backing out of your, you're backing out and somebody's over here pushing their shopping cart, your camera can't see that, but rear cross traffic will see it and it'll go beep, 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 beep. And on the screen on the inside, it'll say, hey, there's somebody coming from that side. And lo and behold, you'll see me. So a number of safety features that come with. Now that back seat, since we got the top opened, maybe we can see a little bit more. So these seats do have a, you can't see it, but it does have a handle that will allow the seat to scoot forward and back as necessary. We do have our own uh, vents down here. And there is a 12 volt power adapter, you can't see. Hmm. There, but there is a 12 volt power adapter with a USB port. And to the right is a 12 volt power adapter. Use your imagination with me. Hard back seats. If we've got kids that like to kick, you got hard back seats to take the bludgeoning. Is there anything else? Oh, this is super important. Headrests, they can drive you nuts. So these headrests will adjust to um, put right where you need to just by the press of the button so you can quickly put it where you need it to be. Well, if there's anything that I've missed on this vehicle, Feel free to let me know what you would like to see, uh, and I'll be glad to record that specific. You can reach me at 256-415-7131, call or text. Once again, I'm Jeremiah, the Internet Director here at Greenway Key of the Shoals, and we look forward to having you visit with us. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.